A little bit of a homecoming for MJ. At least it's in his home state. I know the family is here. You got to be feeling like a legit left fielder right now. You're playing all over the place. Take me through that final play and the adrenaline. Definitely. I mean, that last play, uh, you know, the ball's kind of fading away, left handed hitter. Um, something that, you know, for me, it's been something I've definitely been working on. Uh, it's been a harder play since going to left field. So, um, you know, just trying to keep my eye on the ball, especially here with the dome and uh, find a way to make a play. That wasn't the first big play you made. There was another one, your first outfield assist. I'm curious what that feels like because you're used to gunning guys out from behind the plate. Yeah, it's a little bit different. I think, uh, you know, it's a little bit less opportunities in the outfield sometimes. At least it feels like for me so far. So uh, to be able to get that first outfield assist under my belt was a, was a really cool feeling. I'm sure that getting the hit to break a bit of an offer was a relief for you, but but at least to me the walk was much more critical preceding the home run from your buddy Bobby Witt Jr. Tell me about the importance of that and just trying to figure out a way to get this offense going while still being patient. Yeah, um, you know, just trying to, you know, find that happy medium between being patient and being aggressive. Um, you know, that walk was a huge thing for me, especially, you know, I think going against one of the best pitchers in baseball right now. Um, stuff was gross. Lefty, lefty also. So um, just to be able to do that and then Bob coming up clutch and, the, and hitting that home run. I wanted to ask you about that. I always like your catcher's perspective, whether you're catching the game or not. This was two big time pitchers. What did you see from both guys? Yeah, I mean, both guys that are, you know, dominant, uh, went out there and competed their butts off. Um, both made great pitches and, uh, you know, 2-2 ball game going into the end. Obviously, they did a really great job, but uh, I think just our offense finding a way to get it done there at the end was it was huge. Well, I know Coleman and Barlow start on the mound to close this one out, but we could give you a little bit of the save, too. Great defensive play there in the 10th inning. Go celebrate with your team. Thank you, Joe. All right, MJ Melendez getting more and more comfortable every day in left field. Because